Gaius Aurelius Valerius Diocletianus was one of the most prominent Roman emperors, especially in the Croatian historical area. He ruled from 284 until the year 305, when he voluntarily abdicated and retired to his palace on the Dalmatian coast, where he died in 311. At the end of the 3rd century, Diocletianus divided the province of Pannonia Superior into Pannonia Prima and Pannonia Savia. He divided Pannonia Inferior into Pannonia Valeria and Pannonia Secunda. Given that there were already four legions in Pannonia Prima, he levied two more in Pannonia Secunda and Pannonia Valeria. The first was Legio Quinta Iovia, whose name was dedicated to Jupiter, with whom Diocletianus identified himself. Legio Quinta was stationed in Bononia, today's Vidin in Bulgaria. The other legion was Legio Sixta Herculia. The name was dedicated to Hercules, with whom Maximian, the co-emperor of Diocletianus, identified himself. The seat of the prefect of Legio Sixta Herculia was in Teutoburgium, today's village of Dal in Croatia. Other well-known military installations were in places such as Aureus Mons, Adnovas, Novai, Kornakum and Admilitare, which were all located in today's Croatian regions of Baranja and Slavonia. Both Legio Quinta Iovia and Legio Sixta Herculia defended the imperial residence and Sirmium, the provincial capital of Pannonia Secunda, today Sremska Mitrovica in Serbia. Legio Sixta Herculia performed many duties, from the fortress, watchtower and riverbank security to customs control and regular patrol. As well as other Roman legions, it is known for the production of building materials, especially bricks and tiles. Soldiers of the 10th cohort of Legio Sixta Herculia, foot soldier Catalus and Diarch Firminus, are preparing for their duty, a patrol along the riverbank. They are dressed in vestis militaris, the required military dress in the colors of their legion. Over a knee-length long sleeved white linen tunic, which served as an undergarment, they wear tunica militaris, a noticeable red woolen tunic with undecorated long sleeves. The tunic is fastened with a red belt called cingulum. On the lower part of their bodies, they wear a pair of narrow grey-blue woolen trousers called bracari. They wear ankle-high shoes called calce, which have nails pierced in their soles to keep them from slipping in the mud. On their heads, they wear woolen caps of the same color called Pileus Panonicus. They are wrapped in a light brown woolen robe called clamis, which is fastened with a bronze crossbow fibula. But when they prepare for their duties, they don helmets. Firminus will put on his brass helmet, which he earned after long and successful military service, and Catalus will put on his much simpler and cheaper iron helmet. They are armed with long swords called spathai. Both of them carry large oval shields with a black bird on a red background, which is the symbol of their legion. In everyday duties, they didn't often carry armor. The armor was mostly worn only during major battles. During daily patrols, there are sometimes accidents and injuries, which don't necessarily always happen in a war situation. Catalus is injured. Fortunately, there is another patrol nearby accompanied by a cohort Medicus Liberius. Liberius is always ready to help. He expertly pulls out his equipment and examines the injury. Liberius has everything he may need on the field in an emergency. Bandages, needles, probes, artery clamps, scalpels, 
and other knives as well as pain killing and inflammatory tinctures. He cleans the wound and binds Catalus's leg up. Later, he will visit Catalus at the camp to see how his recovery is progressing.